Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to discuss another set of topic in mathematics. So our topic in this uh, video is linear equation. Primarily discuss the concept of determining whether each of the equation is a linear equation or not. So I have here an example. So before proceeding to the examples, uh, let us define first how what is linear equation so a linear equation is written in the form of ax plus by is equals to c so in this form of linear equation is written in the standard form and the general form of the linear equation is equate to zero or written in the form of ax plus by plus c is equals to zero so this is the standard form the first is the standard form of the linear equation standard form of the linear equation and then the second one is the general uh, sorry for the wrong spelling general e, uh, form so the first one is the standard form the second one is the general form so for the standard form uh, if if an equation can be written in the form of ex plus by is equals to c where a, b, and c are constants and a and b are not both zero, then the equation is a linear. And the same with the general form of the linear equation. So again, if the equation is can, can be written in the form of ex plus by is equals to c, then it is considered to be linear equation. As long as only or both a and b are not zero okay so you can have by is equals to c it is also considered as linear equation or you have ex is equals to c that is still a linear equation as long as not both a and b which are constants are zero okay so let us have examples on determining whether the equation is linear or not so we have here the example so, the instruction here is determine whether each of the following is a linear equation or not. So, in determining, so just follow the format of the linear equation which is ax plus by is equals to c. So, this is the standard form of the linear equation, right? So, since a number 1 that is x is equals to negative 8, we can consider this one as linear for number one our answer is linear the reason why we can consider that one as linear equation is because it's because uh, it is just one of the constants uh, i mean the one of the constant is zero so y here is zero so right so the definition said that it will always be a linear equation as long as not both a and b are zero so in this case only b is zero that is why uh, x is equals to 8 i mean negative 8 is equals to or the same with ex is equals to c so you can consider this one as linear or this one Okay, as long as one of the constant is zero, not both of the constant are zero. Okay, so again the definition, as long as A and B are not both zero, then you can consider the equation as linear equation. Okay, so let us proceed to number two. For number two, is it x plus 3y over y is equals to one, a linear equation or not? So the answer is not. A linear equation not linear why the definition it does not uh, agree with the definition since the definition is states that okay I will, let me write the definition so I mean um, I will just state so that we will not take another time or extra time so if an equation can be written in the form of ax plus by is equals to c then that is linear but in this case our y our second variable y is in the denominator right so if you are going to simplify this one 
it will happen that it will not be a linear equation. Why? Because x and y will be expressed as their product. So, if you are going to express that one, it's equals to 1. So, you can have that one y over so the LCD the LCD of x plus 3 over y is y. So, y divided by 1 that is y times x that will become xy plus y divided by y that will become 1 times 3 that is 3. So, continue simplifying x plus y 3 over y is equals to 1. So, as you can see here xy is not written in the form or that it does not conform with the standard form of the linear equation which is ax plus by is equals to c. Why? Because xy comes together or they are expressed as the product of each other. So xy, so that is why this is not a linear equation. Okay? So for number 3, uh, we have the equation x squared minus 4x plus 4 is equals to 0. So again, just look at the standard form of a linear equation. We can only call an equation as linear equation if and only if the equation looks like this or can be expressed in terms of this. So ax plus by is equals to c. As you can see in number 3, there is a power which is 2 with a variable x. So we can tell that this is not a linear equation. What type of equation is number 2? Not linear equation, not a linear equation, or not linear equation. So we have this type of equation is a quadratic equation. So number 2, this is not linear, but this is a quadratic equation. There is, there is This is a perfect square trinomial. So this is quadratic equation. Since it is raised to the power of, since x, x is raised to the power of 2. Okay, for number 4. Let us proceed to number 4. So, our equation is defined by negative 2y is equals to x plus 5. Is it uh, a linear or not? So, look at the linear equation or the standard form of linear equation ax plus by is equals to c. We can tell that this is a linear equation. Why? It is just uh, this arrange. The terms are just, are not arranged properly but if we are going to arrange the terms properly we can express that one in in terms of a linear equation so this is still linear but the terms are not properly arranged so if we are going to arrange that one we can have negative 2y is equals to x plus 5 so re rearrange the terms to express as the form of linear equation then we can have x plus 5 is equals to negative 2y so, we have to transfer negative 2y in this side. So, it will become 2y is equals to negative 5. If we are going to transfer negative 2y in this side, it will become positive And positive 5 transferred to the right side, it, become negative, it becomes negative 5. So, it conforms to the linear equation or linear standard form of a linear equation, which is ax plus by is equals to c. Where our a here is 1 and our b is 2 and our c is negative 5. So, we can tell that number 4 is a linear linear equation. Okay, number 4 is a linear equation defined by negative 2y is equals to x plus 5. Okay, let us proceed to number 5. So, for number 5 we have x cubed minus y cubed is equals to 10. Is it a linear equation or not? The answer is not a linear equation not a linear equation why the explanation behind this one is because as you can see the variables x and y are both raised to the power of 3 so you can say that this is a cubic uh, equation or this is a cube cube yes this is a cubic equation so therefore it can it cannot conform or it does not conform to the standard form of linear equation which is ax plus by is equals to c okay since our ax and by should always be raised to one only or the exponent should only one but here it becomes three so this is not a linear equation but a cubic equation okay
So for number 6, for the last number, we have negative 5y, negative 5y is equal to negative 15. As you can see here, the variable x becomes missing. If we are going to follow the format of ax plus by is equal to c. This is the standard form of linear equation, right? But in our equation, it is only y and I mean y and the constant negative 15 can be found. So still, this is a linear linear equation. So number 6, negative 5y is equal to negative 15 is still a linear equation. It is just, it happens only that the x variable becomes missing maybe because it is 0. So again, it is still linear equation as long as not both y and x becomes 0. So it is the same with by is equal to c. So by is equal to c is still a linear equation. And we have ex is equal to c is still a linear equation. Okay. So that's it. Again, in this case, this is still a linear equation. It just happened that the x variable becomes, or the constant, the coefficient of our x variable becomes 0. That is why the remaining uh, equation of a linear equation is this. It takes the form of this. 1, negative 5y is equal to negative 15. So let us have another example which is not written. So let us have number 7. Uh, let us have, say for example, negative 18. Only negative 18. Is it a linear or not? So the answer is not a linear equation. So based on the definition of an equation alone, it cannot uh, guarantee or it will not satisfy the definition of a certain equation so again this uh, definition of equation means that you have an equal sign and there should be a variable so a constant bearing a variable and it should have a, an equal sign to to be known as equation but the, in this case there is no equal sign and there is no variable bearing negative 18 or other than negative 18 so this is not a linear equation okay so for number 7 which is negative 18 this is not a linear equation so remember that a linear equation should have at least one constant it's either a x it's either a or b okay it's okay that a x will be missing or b y will be missing as long as not both a and b are missing or zero so in this case both a and b are missing or equals to zero so this is not that is why it is not called a linear equation so that's all as an example of our determining whether each of the following is a linear equation or not thank you for watching and see you to my next video god bless everyone and bye bye <laughs>